members of the Shisha Nation singing in celebration in front of one of 10 homes destined for their community on the Sunshine Coast. These houses in Port Moody were meant to be demolished. Instead, they face a journey by truck, then barge, down the Fraser River, all the way up to Seashelt. We're hoping to uh, house 20 people, 20 families uh, in a short period of time, which normally would you know, take, like I've said, you know, 18 to 24 months if it was stick builds. Um, so everybody is very excited about it. You know, they, they can't wait. There's a lot of chatter. The houses will be renovated to be more energy efficient and given basements so that extended families can live together. The Shisha Nation is facing a housing shortage with hundreds of people waiting for homes like these ones. The houses were identified by Renewal Development, which has transported structures before, including a yellow schoolhouse that was moved via barge last summer. Demolition should be the last option, not the first. And as we're proving today, there is a very viable alternative and a responsible alternative, which is to physically rescue, relocate and repurpose many more of these homes. Every year, 2,700 single family homes are demolished across Metro Vancouver. Lewis says with a housing shortage and sky high construction costs, government should be providing incentives to save more structures. This is a program that we are very interested in. I know that they just received funding from CMHC to expand some of the work they're doing. We're looking at how we can potentially partner with them. The previous owners of this house, who lived here for 30 years, say they'll watch tonight as the place they lived in is driven away. It was just a wonderful neighborhood, a wonderful home, and I'm so glad that it is going to someone else. Um, and it'll see that life instead of being demolished. They plan on making the trip to Seashelt to see the place their house will make its new home. Michelle Gassoub, CBC News, Port Moody.